I'm just running through um, what we do for recalls in Aliwags. Um, and it's not necessarily a, a recall. I'm one, one of these that prefers my dog <clears throat> not to lose me rather than the other way round. And it is a, when our dogs are puppies, having them just follow us randomly as we amble around the countryside and don't really pay any attention to them apart from throwing a few treats out to uh, to hold them in space and then walking off in a different direction our dogs learn to follow us and it's like we're keeping them on a bit of string and they're just happy to go where we go puppies like to follow it's great and it, this is a brilliant example with Ludo in that he just comes back for more and there's lots of smells in this field like rabbits the smells of other dogs horses and he very rarely leaves my side so I haven't actually concentrated on a recall with Ludo what I've concentrated on is a dog that I want to stay with you throughout the time of your walk now I've not asked him to do anything but what I've done is I've rewarded every choice he's made if it's the choice that coincides with what I want to do walking around randomly in different directions does promote a little bit of uh, bonding to us and he's going off now so what I'm going to do is just change direction and I'm going to run a bit and see if he follows and yes he does so what a good boy so you see that he's gonna follow us quite a lot just because where we are good things are happening it's pretty random what we're doing <coughs> our walks aren't in a straight line we're feeding treats he's having stuff that's rewarding because he likes his food he does like his food a lot and it's good for him so he can pick out what he wants do what he wants and it's got kind of safe for everybody really so um, I don't want you really to dwell too much on the fact that my dog must have a perfect recall because recalls take time they take proofing it's not something we can do in a week it's not something we can do in three weeks but the fact that Ludo doesn't want to leave your side you're pretty much there with a dog that you could probably take out trust off the lead hide a little bit create some of that insecurity in him so he thinks that he's uh, he's doing something else oh look a bit of horse poo there which um, he found but he still follows us back you see so he's a good boy we're not as I say we're not using recall um, going on to recall recall has to be proofed in lots and lots of different environments not just in the garden not just in the park but it has to be proofed around other dogs other people different environments on the beach um, you know everywhere you can think of and what's different what's you might succeed in one place doesn't always mean you're going to succeed somewhere else and so that's why it's very important that we go through this proofing process it's like going on mastermind you may be an expert in your chosen subject and somebody asks you a simple question and you freeze because it's a different environment you just don't know the answer and so when there's different distractions around for dogs they act differently so um, having this behavior just making sure that where we are is the good space and having him on this imaginary bit of string is quite a good way to go and uh, we'll go through that when um, we have our session together